when Steve showed me the letter from Dr. Dessler saying that we had been chosen as the recipients of the Outstanding Alumni Award for this year, I, I think my exact quote was, that's crazy talk. I was extremely honored and humbled. RIT has been a huge part of my life, 32 out of the 50 years I've been alive so far. And to be recognized and honored by the Institute is, uh, is again, very uh, rewarding and humbling. I'm really grateful that RIT introduced me to the concept of philanthropy. After graduation, I got an entry-level job in the Office of Development and worked my way up to be a development officer, soliciting donors, soliciting alumni to give back to scholarship funds. Um, and it was the most rewarding career path I think I could have ever imagined to be able to witness not only how lives were changed of the recipients of the donors' generosity, but how donors found it extremely rewarding as well. I have to say she was one of the most terrific people I've ever worked with. Um, she she um, just has a way about her, I think, that relates very well to people, and so the role of donor relations you know, fit her very, very well. We also worked on the United Way campaign together, and she was RIT's campaign coordinator for several years. And in fact, she was the third person to receive the Miller Award, which our local United Way gives for outstanding campaign coordinating. You know, it's like a child that, you know, you're watching your child grow up, and, and United Way was very near and dear to me. And so when I turned that over to her, to watch her take it and run with it and, and make improvements and, and the way everything just, you know, blossomed under her leadership, I was very proud of her. Coming from a development side, it's hard to imagine being on the other side, and, and um, it is really re grateful to be able to be contributing back and making a difference here. RIT shaped me by giving me the tools to succeed in the technology world. From the innovative side, the ability to create and problem solve, and to work with people, I was very heavily involved in student government, Editor-in-Chief of Reporter Magazine, Computer Science House, Corner Crew, a Computer Science House. We had a great group of people there. We did a lot of stuff. Not all of them um, were, shall we say, within the bounds of the school regulations. Uh, but we learned a whole lot. We made a lot of great uh, advancements, and we had a whole lot of fun doing it. Steve Schultz, or as we, used, we called him back then, the Hawk, and a whole crew of men and women uh, in Computer Science House were just brilliant, brilliant students that had so much drive and passion. And that carried on throughout uh, his entire experience at RIT, which was a little longer than others, but he had a lot going on. <laughs> when I first met Steve, and for the first many years, it was hard to predict any future for him. Was, was he ever going to finish school? Uh, was, he, uh, was he ever going to take life seriously? And I'm happy to say he's only sort of taking life seriously now. Steve can tackle a problem and chew on it and, uh, and come up with creative solutions that are often way outside the box. Uh, I think, as it turns out, his nickname, Hawk, is perfect for what he's doing today at Pictometry. Uh, a Hawk is somebody who has the big picture from above. Uh, who has a keen sense of sight and vision. The thing that pictometry has brought to the field is the ubiquitous uh, presence of oblique images. We take aerial imagery for use by primarily county and local governments for 911, assessor, police, fire. We've grown to employ over uh, 300 employees, uh, most of them in the Rochester area. You know, if I have to look and say what's the single most rewarding thing, it's you know knowing that there's a lot of people who make their livelihood off of something that, that I help build. We were starting to build a research group here. It was a very early stage as I was trying to get people to behave in a more formal fashion. And Steve would show up the day after a hockey game in his Reaper outfit. Uh, he was an interesting character. I got started following hockey and I believe it was the 1982 season. The opening game weekend was Halloween weekend and I happened to go in costume that year. 
I was dressed as the Grim Reaper and we were losing by a couple goals and as soon as I showed up we tied the game up and came back and won. Well the next night was now November 1st, I didn't wear the costume, got there a little late, we were losing. Um, they said it's because you're not wearing your costume so I ran across to the dorms grabbed my costume, came back, we came from behind and won, and I was essentially forced to wear the costume for the next nine years. <laughs> he helped create the corner crew uh, and never missed a hockey game. He was way ahead of his time in terms of uh, seeing how much hockey would mean to this campus. The tradition of corner crew is carrying on because it's something that was needed at RIT. The spirit that is exuded through the students is really what being a Tiger is all about. And I'm proud to say that Steve started that. And without his initiative and in getting it going, I, it wouldn't be here today and it wouldn't be what it is today. I, we're a little bit more politically correct. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. He's always been a Tiger. He bleeds orange. And uh, if he can do something to make the student experience at RIT better, he will go to the ends of the earth to make it happen. Two of our alums have stepped forward to make the first really significant gift towards this fundraising campaign. You know, with uh, Steve and, and Vicki making the decision to give the first gift for the building of the policy hockey rink does not surprise me in the least bit. The rink will have a big impact on the campus. You only needed to be out in the administration circle when the team returned back from the games in Albany. Uh, it was two or three in the morning and it was a packed house. And they were chanting and cheering and they passed the team around on their shoulders. I think we only dropped one of them. Um, it was just an amazing sight. You know, it's been such a big part of my life for many years, and uh, um, both the hockey program and RIT in general, that uh, I felt it was the right thing to do. I think the new rink will really just add a whole new level of excitement. I think it will improve um, the student experience here. It, it, it was something we decided we wanted to do together. Very proud that to be with Steve and, and have a wonderful family and a wonderful connection to RIT and we're really proud that we've been able to make a difference here. We are an RIT Tiger family and always will be.